guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I have more head to toe spring outfits to share with you from Walmart. I can't wait to show you everything that I found this time. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. The first piece that I want to talk about is this pretty and pink top. This is by the brand Time and True. This is a split neck blouse. This one is a size medium. It is $13.98. This top is made out of 100% viscose. It is machine wash cold, tumble dry, and cool iron. You will recognize the silhouette of this top because it's the same top that I had on at the beginning of this video, only in a floral print. I think that it looks so dramatically different in a print that I wanted to share it with you. Also, this fabric has more of a cotton feel to me. The seafoam green one that I shared in a previous video had more of a silky slick feel to it, and this one definitely feels like cotton. It feels very lightweight and breathable, and I love that about it. I'm very partial to a split neck. I'm glad that it doesn't have those tassels that I never know what to do with. It does have elastic at the wrist, but it is very comfortable. The sleeves are a kind of a puff balloon sleeve, which is very much on trend. Now, because this top has a lot of volume, I personally like to do a front tuck to define the waist. This does have a straight hem, and I think it looks good either way, whether you front tuck it or if you wear it out. The way I would wear this top right now is with my all-time favorite Time and True skinny jeans that you're tired of hearing about. I would also wear a pair of the neutral faux suede booties that I picked up off of a clearance rack. I did a video on clearance rack booties, and I do want to mention that a lot of them are still in store and still on clearance. If you haven't watched that video yet, I am going to try to remember to link that in the cards above. Now, when spring and summer finally arrive, I plan to wear this top with white jeans, white capris, possibly even a white denim skirt if I can find one, especially from Walmart. I think that since the floral pattern has white in it, it's just a natural pairing. I want to talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing for just a second. Both the earrings and the necklace are by the brand Time and True. The necklace is 18 inches long. It does have an extender. It is only $2.88. It's on this pretty sparkly gold tone chain and then it has a good sized faux pearl right in the center. I love the delicate simplicity of this. The earrings that I have on are also by the brand Time and True. These are only $2.88. I think that they match the necklace beautifully and there's a little something special about these that I want to share with you. I can't get over the price of these earrings because you can actually wear these two ways. I love this look with the two pearls and then the gold tone bar in between. These earrings do have a classic disc stopper to keep them on your ears. You can wear this together or if you want a simple pearl stud, you just take the bar off. The next piece I want to talk about is the jacket that I'm wearing. I love this jacket so much. I had this planned for another video, but I really feel like this is going to sell out very quickly online. Which reminds me, I am going to link any of the pieces that I'm sharing with you today that I can find on the Walmart website in the description box below. This was an online purchase. They don't have this brand in my particular Walmart. This jacket is by the brand Sofia Vergara. This is a size small. It is $34, and they're calling this the Puff Sleeve Jacket which we'll talk about in just a moment. It is 52% cotton, 18% viscose, and 1% spandex, which might not sound like a lot of spandex, but this jacket has a ton of stretch. This is machine wash inside out and tumble dry. So you know how all of these puff sleeve tops are on trend? All of the denim jackets that I had would actually smash the puff sleeve in. This denim jacket actually has a puff sleeve. This works for my body type for a number of reasons. I loved this look in the 80s and I love it now because I have very narrow shoulders. But even if you don't, this particular look is so on trend. This jacket has figure flattering princess seaming. It doesn't have any pockets right here, but honestly, because of the silhouette of this jacket, I think it works better without them. Of course, it has these useless chest pockets, which I'm not going to put anything in because that would look ridiculous, right? This is a little bit cropped. It has the little grommet buttons on the back so that you can customize the fit a little bit. These sleeves hit me at the perfect length. 
Although typically I will roll a sleeve up to a three quarter length. That's just my preference because I'm 5'4". But if you are around my height, you'll get a sense of how long the sleeves will be. Whether these sleeves are straight down, tucked into a little French cuff, or rolled to be a three quarter length sleeve, I think it is flattering in all the variations. This jacket is definitely a keeper for me. I love the silhouette, I love the puff sleeves, and even if they were not so on trend, honestly, I still would have gravitated toward this. You can see how much stretch there is. I can button this all the way up, but I never wear a denim jacket buttoned up. I will typically have it open like you see here. I cannot recommend this enough. And Angela, if you're watching, you totally need this jacket. The next piece that I wanna talk about is this open front cardigan. This is also by the brand Time & True, which is my preferred brand at Walmart. This is a size small. It is only $13.96, and it comes in a ton of colors. This cardigan is 55% recycled polyester, 23% Modell, and then 22% regular polyester. It is machine wash inside out and tumble dry. Love this shade of dusty pink. This cardigan falls straight. This does have pockets and they are generous pockets. This cardigan does have tone on tone ribbed knit trim along the lapel, the sleeve, and then the bottom. It also has side slits, and that is a detail that I always look for personally. It may sound like a small thing, but I honestly believe that it helps a cardigan like this drape beautifully. Walmart does come out with this same cardigan every season, and I like to pick up a new color or two just to refresh my wardrobe because I love the silhouette of it. It is the perfect spring transitional piece. It's warm and cozy now, but it's also lightweight enough to take you into spring and summer. The next piece that I wanna share with you is this fun yellow tie-dye sweatshirt that I'm wearing. I actually showed this to you in a sneak peek in one of my previous videos, and I expressed some concerns. So first I'm going to tell you what I love about it, and then I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's for me. This is by the brand Scoop. This is a size small, it is $24. This was an online purchase, and they are calling this the Smocked Cuff Sweatshirt. It is 60% cotton and 40% polyester. I have to say that the fabric feels really nice on this. This is machine wash cold, which honestly is how I wash everything anyway, tumble dry and low iron. There is so much that I love about this particular sweatshirt, starting with the color. I'm sure that you're aware that this bright yellow is one of the Pantone colors of the year for spring and summer 2021. Tie-dye also continues to be wildly popular, and this has both. I also love the sleeve detail on this. It does have, just like the name implies, a smocked elastic at the wrist. It cinches in the wrist to give this fun balloon shape, which is also on trend, but it's not tight at all. I do have serious concerns about the length of this top for me. I am 58 years old and I don't do crop tops. As I stand here, the hem of the top does come well below the waist of the jeans. However, with one wash, I think it's going to shrink. I have also noticed a tendency for the edges to roll. So that little inch difference that rolls up could have made all the difference in the world for me. I really wanted to love this top. Even as I look at it in the viewfinder, from the waist up, I love the color, I love the silhouette, the fabric has a nice feel to it, I love the fun sleeves. I personally don't think this works for me. I would be curious to know what you think of it, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. I do want to mention briefly that the sneakers that I'm wearing with this top are from Walmart. These look very similar to a high-end pair that I showed you in a previous video. I love the soft gold at the heel. It gives it just a little something special. And I can already tell that I'm going to get a lot of use out of these because I'm already pulling these for every single try on. The next piece that I want to talk about is the top that I'm wearing. And it is the only no boundaries piece in this particular video. I honestly try to to stay out of the juniors department, but I was drawn to this for so many reasons that I just had to give it a try. Online, they're calling this the teardrop sweater with D-ring accent. This is a size medium. I always go up a size or two if it's a juniors piece, and it was only $7. This is 78% rayon and 22% polyester, machine wash cold and tumble dry. I'm going to start with the positives. I love the color of this. 
This color right here is my all-time favorite color in the world. I also love the unique cutout at the neckline. I thought I was going to have to wear this with a strapless bra because of the way this is cut so dramatically, but much to my surprise, this is actually bra friendly. So I just have on a regular standard nude colored bra from Walmart also, and you can see that the strap doesn't show at all. I really like the way this looks from about here up. This top is a ribbed knit, which can be a blessing and a curse. A ribbed knit is often very comfortable because it leaves room for, let's just call it, expansion. This is also a very fitted top. I would go as far as to say that for me personally, it's a little too bodycon. And I have a feeling that if I went up to a size large, that it would fit oddly in the shoulder area because I have narrow shoulders. I really love this and I want to love it, but I kind of feel like I would have to hold my stomach in the entire time I wore it. In fact, I'm really curious. Let me know what you think about this particular top in the comments down below. Now we can talk about something that I don't feel like I have to hold my stomach in to wear, and it is this fun bag by the brand Scoop. This is an online purchase, but I love it so much I had to share it with you. They're calling this the macrame bucket bag. It is such a throwback to me, the macrame style. This is $24. How much does this remind you of the macrame planters that pretty much everybody had in their house in the 70s? I know we had them in our house. It has this woven handle. I love the neutral color. This bag really speaks to my inner hippie chick because it's a throwback to the 70s. I love the shape of this bag. It is very lightweight. I also love the fact that it has kind of this neutral colored linen look lining that has a drawstring so that you can secure everything inside. This is going to be my new favorite go-to bag for spring and summer. This next piece is sticking to the pink kick that I'm apparently on. This is by the brand Time & True. They're calling this the Long Sleeve Core Tee. It comes in a ton of colors. This is a size medium. When I picked this up, it was $6.44. But when I went online just now to double check the pricing, most of these are on clearance for $2. The fabric is 86% Pima cotton, 14% polyester. This is machine wash cold and tumble dry. I have to say that the first thing that I noticed when I put this on was the neckline. It doesn't look like it's too high when I'm looking in the viewfinder, but to me personally, this feels a little bit choky. It is also pretty slim fitting. I have thin arms to begin with, and this feels kind of constricting to me. I do love the delicate pink color, and even though it's a stripe, I don't think that it screams stripe. I just don't love the way this feels up against my neck. The next thing that I wanna talk about is this Time & True V-neck tee. These are $5.44. They have a ton of colors both in store and online. They also sell two packs online where you save a little bit more if you buy the combination. This is a size medium. The fabric is 60% Pima cotton and 40% recycled polyester. It is machine wash cold and tumble dry. When spring is in the air, I go to Walmart to refresh my layering tees like this. This is a wardrobe staple to me. In the fall and in the spring, I can wear a jacket over it. I also like the fit of this particular tee. It is not too fitted, but it is also not boxy and square either. I also find that the sleeve length is a flattering length where if you don't want to show your upper arms, you do have that coverage. I just love these. I love a good skinny jean with a tall boot in the fall, but in the spring and summer, I like to have a little bit more air circulation around my legs. I was so happy to hear that the trend for jeans was moving away from skinny jeans and more towards straight cuts and wide legs. These silhouettes really help to balance out the figure, and I'm a big fan, especially in the spring and summer. The jeans that I have on are by time and true, but they are not the skinny jeans that I talk about incessantly. It's the same brand and the same size, but these are in a straight leg. These are so comfortable. I am probably going to wear these in the next 10 videos. I love them that much. These are a mid-tone wash. They are under $20. These happen to be a mid-rise, but they also have them in a high-rise in a bunch of different colors. I cannot say enough about the time and true jeans. 
I shared this necklace with you in a sneak peek in a previous video, but I just wanted to give you another look at this. I do want to mention that this is connected, so you need to wear the two components together. That doesn't bother me at all. I think the layered look is really pretty. I think the sparkle of the choker length part of it is so pretty. And then this coin or disc look was all over the runways for spring and summer. I think it's a really good value. I did take the price tag off, but I paid either either $2.88 or $4.44, but either way, I think it's well worth it. This necklace does have an extender. I believe it will extend out to about 20 inches. I have it on the 18 inch, and as you can see, it fills in the V of this T perfectly. <laughs> Since I already shared this particular top with you in my last Walmart video, I decided to take the same top that so many of you ladies commented on and loved and show you how I would style this for the spring. Of course, with this look going into spring, I'm still going to wear these time and true earrings that match this top beautifully. I just love these. They remind me so much of the expensive brand Nakamole. The split neck top that I have on, as I mentioned previously, comes in several colors. My local Walmart does not yet have white jeans or white capris. And to be honest, I'm not sure what size I need. I usually size up in white jeans because I prefer them to fit on the looser side. The white jeans that you see in the try-ons that you're no doubt watching off to the side are actually from JCPenney. These are by the brand Anna. They are a mid-rise skinny jean and I paid under $20 for them very recently. I am still holding out to get white capris by Time and True for this season, and as soon as they hit my store, I'm definitely picking a pair of those up. Whenever I wear white jeans, I like to wear a neutral shoe in either an espadrille or a wedge or with a little bit of a heel. The shoes that you see in this try-on, I did pick up from Stitch Fix a couple of seasons ago, but I am certain that you could find something very similar to these probably even at Walmart. The bag that I'm carrying is one of my all-time favorite woven bags from Amazon. I'm going to try to remember to link my Amazon storefront in the description box below. I've organized everything by category, whether it's fashion, beauty, household, kitchen gadgets. I love to cook. If you want to see what some of my all-time favorite Amazon products are, be sure and check that link out below. <laughs> I thought that since I'm walking around my house anyway with the camera doing these try-ons, that I would go ahead and take you on a little mini house tour. Here is my bedroom and you can see that the room is flooded with light because of the white from the snow. And then here are the sliding doors. And this is the deck that I usually do my try-ons, but that's not going to happen today. And I'll come in a little bit closer and you can see that everything is coated in snow. I get asked a lot about my closet, so I want to show you that just briefly. Spoiler alert, I don't have a fancy YouTuber's closet at all. As you can see, my closet is just one of these bifold configurations, and my closet is a hot mess, and actually, I am right in the middle of filming a closet declutter as we speak. And here's the other side. I have a lot to purge out of this closet. From my closet, let me show you my commute to my filming area, which is in my little home office. And right across the hall, this is where I'm filming the video that you are currently watching. I have a little portable heater plugged in because I don't like the central heat to run while I'm filming. It really messes with the sound. As you can see, I have to use a lot of light in this room because the ceilings are low. So I have a ring light and two soft boxes. This is the angle behind my camera, and Ashes comes to work with me every day. She thinks she's a YouTuber. Would you like to say hello? I think you're just going to purr. She loves to sit here. I will be sitting here editing videos for three or four hours at a time, and she will not move unless she thinks there's a chance of a snack. So facing the living room in the hallway, the first door is my little home office. The second door is my husband's home office. This door is a bathroom that 1980 wants back. I'm going to gloss right over that for now. And then we have a coat closet. This is the door to the basement. 
and then we're in the living room. And one thing you'll notice right away is that there are no curtains in this house. Because our house sits about 200 feet back from the road and there is a line of evergreen trees that flank the property, someone has to really be trying hard to see into our house. So we choose not to use curtains so that we can get as much natural light as possible. So I have a little candle vignette here a little mirror, and then here is the front door that nobody ever uses, to be completely honest. And then you can see the snow falling outside. You often see right about this view in some of my try-ons when I'm filming indoors. That wood stove is a godsend on a cold day like this, and especially if we lose power because it gives us heat, light, and even a cooking surface. And then this is our dining room. And as you can see, we have another set of sliding glass doors. And this is the area that 90% of the time I film try-ons. Full disclosure, even if it is 30 degrees out, I will still step outside to film the try-ons because I have hot flashes anyway, and it's a great way to cool down. And there is Ashes the cat. She thinks she wants to go outside, but she will regret her life choices if she goes out there. So I'm going to leave her in and she can just look from the inside. And then from the sliding doors, you can see that it opens right up into our kitchen. And then the side door that we come in is right there off to the right. And there's our refrigerator and back into the living room. This is a very open floor plan. My husband actually had this house built before I met him and he had some of the walls removed from the original plan. Even though at that time that was not even a thing, I'm glad that he did it because now it's at least somewhat modern. And there's Ashes being a good kitty using her scratching post. She has never Ever scratched our furniture. We trained her to use a scratching post from very early on. If you would like to see even more affordable fashion videos like this one, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Pop over to Instagram and follow me there as well. I would love to have you as part of my real-time community, and I will see you next time.